And there he is. It's hero time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Rusty, and this is Anna, and this is Hero Story for GeoBeats. No, we are. We are. We are. <laughs> I can't say that we've ever introduced him to anybody that didn't just fall in love with that dog or see the specialness that built him. Can you see the cutest smile on his face? His story was just heart-wrenching. He was a, a part of an abuse case, and then a group called Pit Crew Rescue in Sacramento came in and they rescued him, and he was with them for eight months. Oh, look at that hand face. He was just so sweet. His sweet eyes were just saying, you know, love me, and you just thought, wow, this guy really deserves a chance. Sugar Bear's getting love from Papa. We had a meet and greet with Sugar. She just lit up with joy when she saw him, and I was like, that's it. <laughs> He's our dog. He just wanted to be loved. If you stop petting him at all, he'd start nudging you to re remind you, hey, I'm still here. And there you go. If at any reason you decided to stop petting him and he couldn't get your attention no matter how much he nudged you, he moved on to the next person. <laughs> he'd start nudging them. And there you go. He would go to work with us sometime. He'd leave you alone for a few minutes, maybe let you do an email or two, and the next thing you know, you'd feel this wet nose on your elbow. Wait, wait. Oh, come on. <laughs> One more time. Give Papa a hero. Give Papa a hero. He just didn't kiss people. So I had this idea. We go to this fast food place. So I order a, uh, a hamburger. She doesn't eat meat. She doesn't eat meat. The story kind of weirds her out. I took the meat out of the hamburger. I smeared it on my lips and I got real close to him so he could smell it. And I got the first kiss. And then after that, it was like he only kissed him. <laughs> That's so awesome. They always had a bond. He loved going in the car with his papa. <laughs> Hi, JC. They can hear him coming down the street because his truck is so, it has a particular muffler sound. <laughs> it's like pure joy every time he came home. Girl, papa's here, huh? Papa. I was basically the caregiver. <laughs> I was always there and he followed me everywhere and <laughs> it didn't matter the bathroom. I had to get used to that. <coughs> we are fostering her for pit crew. She's a hospice foster. They said that maybe she had three months to live. Well, two years later, she's, she's alive. <laughs> and this girl has some nerve. <laughs> and she's thriving really do fall in love with these dogs. So I went to take a shower and this is what I came back to. He doesn't even realize, oh, there I am. Oh, I like how you spit the evidence out. There's the hero. He was about, I think about eight or nine years old when they rescued him. Hi, hero. I wish we just would have found him sooner. At the beginning of April, his health started to deteriorate, and um, on May um, 6th, he passed away. I would tell him thank you for being a part of our lives. Can't wait to see you again.